A Lauder Hill police officer appeared in court today to answer to a criminal charge that he violated a restraining order taken out by his ex-wife. CBS 4's Joan Murray live tonight in Fort Lauderdale with the allegations against him. Joan. And this police officer has spent his whole police career with Lauder Hill. Tonight he finds himself in an uncomfortable position in jail, out of a paycheck and dealing with a whole lot of personal trouble. Through most of his bond hearing, Sergeant Michael Bigwood stood arms crossed, his case holding the attention of other jail inmates. Do you have any money in the bank at this time? Yes. Approximately how much would you say you have? Um, 95000 Bigwood, who's been with the Lauder Hill PD for 13 years, turned himself in after being charged with violating a restraining order taken out by his former wife, who was a BSO detective. According to an arrest report on March 17th, Bigwood showed up to the victim's residence without permission and began to bang on her front door, demanding to speak with her. He had called and text messaged the victim multiple times prior, according to the report. The next day, a recorded control call was conducted in which Bigwood admitted to showing up to the residence, violating the restraining order. He admitted he had been drinking alcohol. He also apologized for arriving at the residence unannounced. The restraining order was issued last December, after Bigwood's ex-wife says he became violent. That at one point he pulled a firearm on her and threatened to, to threaten harm on her and the children. And uh, this is drinking as a problem, intoxicated, he's become violent. So seems like alcohol and maybe some mental health issues are the root of this whole issue. Bigwood's arrest has big consequences. The department saying in a statement Sergeant Michael Bigwood was arrested for violating a domestic violence injunction. He has been placed on administrative leave without pay. He had been on paid leave since January 2015 related to the domestic violence injunction. Two Lauder Hill police officers delivered the news personally to Bigwood in the jail. The encounter that we had today was very factual. We were just handing him the basic information. Uh, he had to sign some paperwork, and it was very brief. It took us more time in order to get the deputies back out to get him back to where he needed to be. It was really no lengthy discussion. There wasn't anything like that. It was all just a matter of business. Now, he has posted a $15,000 bond, but he has yet to be fitted with an ankle monitoring device. And when he gets out of jail, the judge said he has to undergo weekly drug and alcohol testing. And that if he is found to have violated that, he will be put back in jail. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Joan, thank you. Well